Hey, it's Dave from the Redneck Garage. Well, I'm out here cleaning up after one of my projects, but as the holidays approach, I wanted you to consider something that I think is really super cool and excellent to eat, and that's a holiday ham. Now, turkey's fine, and whatever you eat at Christmas is okay too, but this ham is amazing. So, so I was going to replay my video about how to make the best holiday ham in the world, and let me tell you, if you do this, you will not be disappointed. Now, one thing I did find funny is that my buddies from England, uh, Colin and those guys, they don't eat spiral cut hams that much in England. They're hard to get. I know Costco in uh, UK has them. But anyway, this is the video about how to prepare a holiday ham and how great it is. Take a look, and I wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving this week. David from the Redneck Garage. I'm here in the kitchen today. As you can tell, I'm wearing my Redneck apron. <laughs> it also doubles for a uh, polishing, buffing uh, apron, but I washed it before this, so there's no uh, car buffing materials that are going to get in the food. If you're like me, on Thanksgiving, you think about turkey and it's okay, uh, it's made well, I'm going to go ahead and cook. I just cook turkey breast because I'm not a big lover of the, uh, uh, you know, the the dark meat stuff, it's just not my forte. I just don't like that crap. Uh, so I just get a big turkey breast and I'll cook that up so people can say they had turkey on Thanksgiving. But my favorite thing to make is a ham. And I've been doing this for five or six years and my kids love it. Because who, who wouldn't love it? It's awesome. This ham is awesome. It's great for, uh, you don't have to wait for a holiday to do it because you can get these on sale after the holidays and then they're really good and you can surprise your family. And it's so simple that you're going to go, wow, that's so cool, I can do that. I, you know, so it's easy to turn wrenches, but sometimes cooking is a challenge. But this turns out really, really, really well. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open your ham up. I bought this one at our local Kroger. There's nothing special about it, but you do want one that's spiral cut. Not because you don't want to have to cut the ham up, but because you want to be able to get the flavor into the ham. And when it's sliced up like that, A, it's easy to pull off the bone. And B, it's really a good way for the uh, the flavor to go down into the cuts where the meat is. So I'm going to cut this baby open. Now I'm going to switch the camera so we can get a better idea of what's going on with this. So I got the ham halfway unwrapped here, and we're going to go ahead and cut. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the plastic bag. off the ham and we're going to drain out the juice because there's a lot of juice. Okay, so I got the extra juice drained out. Now, one of the things you're going to need is a Reynolds oven turkey bag. Um, a box of these. They're cheap. They sell them like in the Reynolds wrap section. But these things are awesome. I cook my turkey in them and I cook the ham in them and it keeps all the juices in the, the bird or the, uh, the piglet and it tastes really, really good when you get it out because they're not all dried out. Now, be careful that when you open it up, here's the here's the ties that are like flame proof, so don't lose them. They're in this little package here. All right, so we got those. And I'll go ahead and get my first bag ready for the old hammeroo. Now these aren't the most durable bags in the world, so you got to be a little careful with them, but not bad. Get it out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the plastic off the ham. And these hams are pretty much cooked, so you don't have to worry about, you know, how many hours. Like with a turkey, you got to figure out weight, everything else, which kind of sucks. So I'm just going to kind of flip that over. And we're going to drop our turkey in our ham. See, that's what I'm talking about. I just ripped the freaking bag. Okay, I got extras, don't worry. That was dumb. Okay, so I'm going to take my ham. And put it in the old bag of roof. And be careful because you don't want to rip these bags. They care pretty easy. Okay. So there is our ham in our original bag baglet. Now, what makes this ham special? You can see that it is spiral cut. That there's cuts in there, so we don't want to mess with that. Right? Okay, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add a can of Coca-Cola. 
Now, if you remember from your uh, science experiments in high school, if you took a tooth and you put it in Coca-Cola to eat it up, well, same kind of concept here. The Coca-Cola is really good at uh, breaking down tissue, which makes the ham really, really soft. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add two cans of Coca-Cola. So we got our Coke in here. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I get dark brown sugar. It doesn't really matter what brand. This is Kroger, where, our, where we shop for our food. Oscar Jewel up north. There's probably something. Ask Jerry where in Canada he shops. And I'm just going to take a pound, one pound of brown sugar, and pour it in the bag. Okay. So we got that in our bag with the Coca-Cola. Now you want to take this and kind of get the air out because you don't want a lot of air because when it gets in the oven it'll start to uh, to balloon up anyway a little bit. So we're going to twist our bag and then you take your little tie and we're going to just kind of it's like a zip tie almost. Put it on here. And tighten it down. Okay, now with this, what I always do is go ahead and add another bag around it. So, just like the girl you didn't want to date in high school, you're going to double bag. <laughs> Get it, double bagger. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. We'll drop her down in the bag to get it close to the bottom. Okay, and then I'll double twist this one. And then put a tie on it. Now I'm going to let this marinade. Now I'm going to let this marinate overnight. And what I do with the ham is, you can see that I'm kind of rolling it around. I'll take it out every two or three hours and I'll roll this baby around. That brown sugar will dissolve into the Coca-Cola. All of this is going into the spiral ham slices right now. And let me tell you, that flavor is unbelievably great. Um, it won't soak in all the sugar, but I mean, it is kind of a kind of a sweet taste if you like sweet. But honey baked hams, what they do is they take blow torches and blow it in. And what I'm doing is marinating my ham and baking it. Now tomorrow, I'm going to uh, expand this video a little bit as it comes out of the oven, but if you're trying to do um, the ham for today, for tomorrow, go get one. Do it like this. Let it sit overnight. And in the morning, what you want to do is you want to take your ham and you want to put it in the oven at about 250 and you want to slow cook it. <coughs> because slow cooking, you want to get hot enough where it's going to take this juice and make it kind of go to the top, right? Anytime you heat it up, it's gonna it's gonna evaporate and go you know kind of go in a circle. There's no escaping with these bags, so you want to cook it at 250. You don't want to overcook it, and you just let it kind of simmer for about three or four hours. And by the time you're ready to eat dinner, you pull it out, and the bone the the spiral ham slices will fall off this this ham, and they are excellent. I will have a video. I'm gonna update this video tomorrow of have of it coming out of the oven, but for right now, I wanted you to have the video of the ham of how to prepare it. Get it, let it marinate overnight, put it in the oven early, and you will be amazed at the uh, taste of this stuff. So I'm David from Redneck Garage. This is just a quick video for you if you want to make this ham. And then after that, uh, tomorrow I'm going to have the updated video of the whole thing. It's a great way after the holidays, well, uh, in between Thanksgiving and Christmas sometimes, but certainly after Christmas, these hams go on sale for like half of what they were before. And you can take one and you can make it up and it, you can eat on it for a couple days. You make ham sandwiches, uh, really super easy to do. And your wife will love you because you actually made something that she didn't have to cook. Okay, so now we're out in the Redneck Garage. And I'm drinking a beer! It's beer time! I'm drinking a Michelob Ultra Light Cider, which is 
kind of a beer, kind of a cider, kind of a uh, nothing. It's not real good, but anyway, it's got alcohol in it. Okay, I want to just take a minute and talk about why you want to cook your ham like I'm telling you to cook it. I watched a bunch of videos online about honey glazed ham or glazed ham or all this thing, but none of them are marinated ham. They just put a little aluminum foil over it, bake them, dry them out in the oven, and then slap some sugar on top. This is a marinated ham, baby, and it's in the bag, and the bag keeps all the juices in. It's outstanding. You're going to see tomorrow. But I'm going to show you how the ham is coming along on the process of cooking the ultimate holiday ham for your family. Or for you, if you're just hungry. You don't have to have a family. Alright, somebody's put a worthless pie on top of my ham. Get that out of the way. Oh yeah, baby. This is the stuff. And here's the ham. Mr. Hammy Ham. <clears throat> you can see that all the coke and the uh, brown sugar, the sugar is dissolved into the Coca-Cola. And you can see that, indeed, all those spiral slices, that mixture is running into. So I just, every couple hours or three hours, it doesn't really matter when, I'll come over and just kind of shake this baby up. Now you got to be kind of careful not to break the bag. But gently mix it up and then I'll put it back in the fridge until in the morning till we start cooking. And let me tell you, you will see tomorrow how great this ham comes out of the oven. Uh, in the morning I'll put it in and probably 9 o'clock 8 or 9 o'clock I'll start cooking it at about 2, 250 and watch it and you'll see it bubbling. All that luscious goodness of ham juice and, and caramelized Coca-Cola and the brown Oh, My youngest son Ethan was watching what the little video I put up already and he said my mouth is already watering. So, gonna go to bed for the night after I finish my Michelob Ultra near whatever kind of beer that is. And then we're going to put that uh, baby in the oven tomorrow. There's, there's a poor little sad turkey breast in here uh, who's thinking I'm not worthy compared to this ham is going to be tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning. Okay, so in all its goodness, I've got the ham out of the refrigerator that's been marinating all night long. And I've turned it over a couple times and I can see that it is ready to be placed in the oven. Now, I've got a redneck <coughs> oven. My wife is really happy that when I broke the glass I didn't replace the oven <laughs> but it still works so a lot of trailers have worse ovens than this um, we're gonna go ahead and put the ham in the oven because I'm cooking a turkey if you can see it in there can you see the turkey um, it's gonna have to be at 350 which doesn't really matter instead of the lower temperature we're just gonna watch it we're gonna put it in there and, uh, and we are going to let her cook And it's in the oven. And when it comes out, it will be glorious. We'll be back when it comes out. Okay, so we're about an hour and a half in. And it's looking really good. You can see the juices in the bottom. Now I'm just going to kind of just shake it around a little bit. And then I'm going to put it, put it back in the oven. There's that turkey. It's starting to brown up a little bit, but it's still turkey. This is the ham. You see the juice right here? You can see the juices. It's just marinating in. So I'll shake it around and put it back in there. Okay, so here's the ham. Cutting the bag back on the ham a ham. Let me tell you, it is full of juice. At the very first time it comes in, it goes, it goes with the dark sun. Oh, that's so good. So good. So I'm going to try to flip it over a little bit. And what you'll find is that the spiral slices just pretty much fall off the bone. And because it was marinated, see it's got a little bit darker color. There's your ham. Also, I'm not sure if it's 
Oh, that is some good ham. The marinating process causes the ham to get a little bit darker. And I'll just pull it off here with my tongs. Wow. We're going to just taste this ham. Oh, so sweet, so good, so moist. It's the best ham ever. So, that's how you make your holiday ham. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here and we will be chowing down on it. For tomorrow, I brought some extra rolls so we can have little ham sandwiches. But let me tell you, if you cook your ham like this, you will never be disappointed because it is so stinking good. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving.